Archaeological sites are limited in number and non-renewable, and this forms the basis of the archaeological goal to preserve sites for future generations to view and appreciate. By using 3D recording, it is possible for archaeologists to shelter historical sites from destruction by registering them with the appropriate governmental agencies. With 3D visualization software, anthropologists enhance visuals online to collaborate with anthropologists around the world. The 3D software keeps the sites, remains, and artifacts in their original form. The use of visual insight, computers, and 3D scanning and software eliminates or reduces the painstaking process of excavating sites. 3D allows archaeologists to provide greater context to the site and materials under study, providing more detail than previously possible. Using 3D technology includes 3D printers and 3D scanning software to reconstitute artifacts in need of reconstruction. Technology includes computer animation, photography, making measurements from photos called grammetry, and conduct marine and space archaeology. Photographing and imaging sites by satellite makes communication of the artifacts more effective and brings well-defined, visually enhanced images to people worldwide. 3D high image enhancement work is particularly effective on old photographs to provide more detail and enhance relief and therefore provide more information about the subjects in the photographs. In the field of forensics, crime scene graphics are visual designs planned to illustrate details observed at a physical location. The graphics convey spatial relationships to those who did not attend the scene and provide an effective way to document a scene for further analysis and presentations in court. Until recently, 3D modeling programming has been co complex. In the past, forensic analysis in 3D modeling would require enlisting the services of an expert 3D modeler or for forensic investigators to learn one of the wide-ranging modeling tools thoroughly to create the model for themselves. Such software ranges high in price value and often takes longer periods to learn how to properly use the software. New options have become available to the average investigator. One tool in particular, SketchUp version 8, has really shortened the learning curvature and made basic 3D modeling available by providing the tools and guidance that allow anyone with compatible software to create 3D models. Although an unconventional way in which to think of 3D modeling, Minecraft, a video game created by Mojang, can be used to reconstruct landscapes and architecture of past and modern societies. Currently, Minecraft is being used in a collaborative project between UN Habitat and Mojang called Block by Block. The Block by Block team is working with a community to establish what is the best way to use the public space. Due to the ease of use, the community is invited to participate in the planning process through workshops oriented on upgrading their area. Instead of presenting the community with an abstract two-dimensional bird's eye architectural drawing, the community is presented with a virtual space that they are free to walk around in and change as they wish. With this easy to use 3D modeled environment, the community can better see the spatial relationships between buildings and be better participants within the development project. Cultural anthropologists can easily use this method to encourage participation with the community on a variety of projects that innovatively link digital environments, easy to use technology, issues of space and development while incorporating 3D modeling. Google SketchUp is useful for archaeologists and anthropologists. For example, I use information from a map that was drawn in the 1970s. Red dots are burials excavated at a different time than the blue dots. This visual tool provides a view of the area. Google Earth 
can be even more effective when combined with Google SketchUp. Providing a geolocation of the site. CA SEL 354 is a site that has dates that go back 3,000 to 4,000 years. 3D modeling, a great tool for archaeologists and anthropologists, can enhance their knowledge of the area of research. Archaeological sites in the future are going to be examined virtually.